Welcome back to another video and I'm just going to be going over Q4 niches for huge sales. This video is going to be about kids books. These really do well over Q4 so it's one you're not going to want to miss. You will find three different niches and I have created each of these different books so there is massive potential with these but as in the previous video I'm going to give you the broad keyword and then you will have to do the niching down and you can find the timestamps in the description below. The first niche we're going to be taking a look at are joke books and the specific keywords we're looking at is joke books for kids 8 to 12. Now self-publishing Titans is a software I use to find niches as it gives you a quick summary of all the important information. So we can see it's given us a keyword niche score for this of 49. It recommends that you look for anything that's 60 and above and maybe the lowest that you go around is 50. So this is just outside of that. But if you niche down then you can definitely get a much higher score. So the number of results we're seeing is 1,789 with an average BSR of roughly 100,000. So taking a look at a lot of the books in this niche, you can clearly see kind of vibrant colors and bold fonts that really stand out. Also take a note of a lot of the titles and keywords they're using. So you might want to think about targeting maybe specific ages. We've got knock knock jokes. You've got silly joke books. You've also got laugh out loud jokes and even some of the numbers as well. So you've got 500,000 plus that so you might want to think about. You've got the big book of silly jokes, even would you rather as well. So there is so much potential with this niche and a lot that you can do with it. You can just take a look at some of these BSRs and just how low they are, which shows that these books are really in demand. And the closer it does get to Christmas, these are just going to skyrocket. So just scrolling up, if we take a look at one of the books that are really doing well, you can see it's a BSR of roughly 5,000. So one of the things we can do is just take note of when they released this book. You can roughly see it's around a similar time last year. And just by the amount of ratings and good reviews that it has got, you can see how popular that it is. And this person has also kind of made it into a series of 10 different books, which is another idea you want to think about. Maybe if you come up with an idea, turn that into a series, which... If your books are popular, it can give you kind of repeated customer and then you're just going to keep on getting those sales. So looking at the interior of this particular book, just scrolling down, we can see it's got a table of contents, then some simple images, a little introduction, um, a few images for the animal jokes that he's going to be talking about. And then it's quite a simple interior that he's using. He's kind of just, again, listed the question and put the questions in little boxes. So this is not something too complicated to create in whatever software that you can do. But it just shows that even a simple interior, again, can sell well. And if we want to find a lot of different types of jokes, then Google is going to be your best friend. And we really just want to use these for ideas. There are a lot of different websites and you're going to find a ton of different jokes. But again, use these just for ideas and then you're going to have to rephrase them. You don't want to get in trouble for taking somebody else's jokes. So just make sure you rephrase them, which is going to take a little bit of time. But as I showed you, this does have a lot of demand. The second niche we're going to be taking a look at is quiz books and specifically quiz books for kids. 
So self-publishing titans has given us a niche score of 48, which is low. However, the number of results is 1,467. So there is still space to add some books to this niche and it has an average BSR of 506,883, which is quite high, but this has a lot of potential to really niche down. And we can take a look at a few books so we can see maybe you want to be specific and do maybe a certain number of questions so we've got a thousand here this is not independently published but it's just giving you an idea of maybe you want to go with a specific number maybe 500 200 something along those kind of lines here we've got you know a personality quiz book interesting another 1000 here if we keep scrolling down, maybe you want to target for clever kids. You know, you've got Bible quiz questions over 500. So you really want to think about maybe a particular area that you have knowledge that maybe you can create a, a quiz book for kids. So it might be a particular subject, maybe math, geography. It might be a particular place, location, or it might even be about animals. And again, these types of books, the closer it gets to December, Christmas, you know, families are going to be around each other a lot more often. The demand for these are going to go right up. So you would want to be creating these quite soon as well. So again, taking a look at another independently published book, they've used the word trivia, which you can also target, but you can see they released it around June uh, last year and you can see how well it's done all the ratings that it has and taking a look at the, the interior inside we can see that it is quite simple they've just listed the questions and given you a multiple choice option so there is the option to maybe create an interesting interior but this book does show that if you just keep it simple and have really interesting questions, then the book can do really well. So to find your questions, again, you can use Google and just make sure that you take the time to really research the facts and don't just copy and paste, but try and write them in your own words and that you've made sure the, the answers are correct. The final niche I'm going to talk about are riddle books and the key word is just going to be riddles for kids age 9 to 12. Now self-publishing titans have given us a keyword niche score of 52 which I think is still reasonably good and you've got roughly 1,120 results with an average BSR of 112,281. So for some people, maybe jokes might be a little bit more challenging to, to come up with, whereas riddles can, can be a bit more challenging and maybe be seen as brain games as well. So scrolling down and taking a look at some of these books, we can see some of the BSRs on these books. Also take a, a note of the keywords that they're using. So we've got challenging riddle book for kids. You've got amazing brain book for kids you've got difficult riddles for smart kids and scrolling further down you've got fun riddles and trick questions then you can also see the big book of tricky riddles for kids 400 plus riddles so you really need to think about your keywords maybe words such as fun challenging amazing then also the amount of riddles you want to use maybe just 100 101 200 250, 300. So taking a look at one of Riddleland's books, they are an independent publisher, but a lot of their books usually do really, really well. So you might just want to take a look at their brand to kind of get some ideas. You can see, again, they released this book roughly around last year, and you can see by the ratings how well that it's done. So taking a look at the interior, we can see again it is quite simple just scrolling through 
a few of these pages so we can see the first chapter that they've done a little explanation at the top and then just listed the riddles underneath. So it's not very complicated, something that you can easily create in Canva or whatever software that you use. So you can use Google again to come up with a lot of these ideas. But as I said before, don't copy them word for word, but just try to use these as ideas and then come up with some of your own. So thanks for taking the time to watch this niche video. Another thing you want to think about is actually combining all these niches into a book, which I've seen some publishers do. So you can have jokes, you can have quizzes and riddles included as well. I'm going to have one more Q4 niche video coming out soon. And if you're interested in my KDP journey so far, then take a look at this playlist. And if you want to see my other Q4 niche videos, then take a look at that.